I don't mean to alarm you, but I now have ND filters, which allows me access to filmmaking school. Let's go make a movie. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Kids were like, oh, nice camera, man. So I was like, all right, do something in slow motion. And they did. And yes, Camera Conspiracy's Ringer shirts are now available. Oh, I like them. So right now we're on the Fuji X-T4 with the Samyang 12mm Tony 2 at what? Oh, God. I knew it. I stopped down for those kids. Oh, now we're, oh. I almost didn't have a blurry background. Oh, that was close. I am loving this combo. It's a little jerky at times. If you're careful, you're good, but I just, I love the look of it. Fantastic lens, I'm so happy to use it. But we've been exposing with shutter speed. Did I say exposing? Oh boy. Personally, I don't mind it. I always film in aperture priority mode to get a little bit of blurry back there. And then the motion blur, not so friendly. And you notice it when people walk by you. <laughs> Hello. That's cool. Thank you. You like Fuji? Am I going to be on TV? You are. <laughs> yeah? Yes. When? <laughs> uh, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> it's like TV. We're as good as TV. <laughs> so I'll notice it when somebody walks by me, it's like, oh, that was jerky and weird. And you don't get the friendly motion blur. So we have two ND filters today to test. A variable one, a super high powered one. Two ND2 to 128 or something. So we'll see if it vignettes and X patterns. And another 1000 ND that shouldn't even, I might even need to be at like ISO 12,000 just to bright sunlight our ass. Okay, so I just switched over everything to manual. We're in 4,000th of a shutter speed. 640 ISO because that's the minimum you can be in F log. So let's switch to the variable ND. Let's see what kind of numbers we can get on that 4000. Drop it down. It should be at 48. She looked in my direction. It's the ringer shirt, fellas. So I reached out to KNF Concept to see if they would send me some ND filters. I was looking because I love this lens so much. I'm like, that's the lens. So let's buy some ND filters. Wait, you're a YouTuber. Use your powers for the good. <laughs> so they sent me these for review. Available down below, of course. I've already ruined it. We're actually at shutter speed 6400. So let me take off this lens hood easily. Alrighty, the variable ND is on at its minimum setting. So we can bring that on down. Oh yeah. Mm. There's the zebras. Back it off a notch. So we're at 500th. Did it introduce any color casting? Oh, you better not have. So we can make it darker. Now we're shutter speeding our way through life. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we're so close. Oh, the zebra's peaked. We're 80. That's almost friendly motion blur. Is there any X patterns? Oh, wrong way. This is the maximum darkness. I do believe we're there. 48th and there's a tiny bit of zebras just right there. And that's only 90. Oh, look at that blur. And now, of course, I'll just put my lens hood back on conveniently with no obstructions. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. That no longer works. That's uh, your first strike, KNF. They're thick. They're thick, boys. Let's walk. So we're at the maximum. Usually that'd be like a full X pattern. Are we seeing it? The reason I don't like ND filters usually from what I see in other people's videos, as you're walking, you'll see the corners just start to vignette, like pulsing in and out, darkness. I'm, I'm walking. I'm the YouTuber. I have the right of way. Be real with yourself. So we're manually exposed here. I know I'm a little dark, 
in the screen, but that's fine. You go into the shade, you should get darker. Why does everything got to be so super exposed? And now we don't have the Fuji exposure stepping because we're manually doing it. Autofocus not happening. We're reliable ultimate system unless the ibis is too shaky and it's annoying you why aren't i just be cool just be cool smooth ibis it's pretty good can i put the lens cap on this that scares me that doesn't feel like it should ever happen that's a hard no that's a hard pass on that one. Oh, it's on it's on it's staying there yeah, so you can. That's a good thing. That's one of the major downsides about most ND filters. You can't put your cap back on. So it's like, what, you got to screw it every time? Get real with yourself. Are you noticing it at all that we're so much more friendly? The blur, the cars, smooth motion. Oh my God, right now. Okay, we're in shutter priority. I just want to see if it will step and change as I twist this ring to get darker and darker. All right, we're at the darkest now. Did it even change? Did Foji, did Foji do anything? Is it exposure stepping? And is there vignetting anywhere? Or strange colors? Because if we put a piece of glass in front of a Fuji to ruin the colors, that's criminal. That is criminal, my friend. Someone's about to walk past me in a motion blur-like fashion. So cinematic. How's the auto shutter with ISO locked? Is it smooth somehow? Are you nauseous? Okay, well this seems like the perfect ND. This darkness, I feel like we, we're doing something wrong there. It should be like not maxed out and then maybe there's not weird darkness but let's switch to the 1000 one Ta -da. wow that is dark so we're at shutter 48th with the 24p perfect alignment iso 640 and we're too dark for sure we are definitely too dark iso 2000 3200 Oh my God, is this real? Let's just, oh God, 4,000 ISO. Does it still look good? Okay, I switched to auto ISO just to see what Fuji decide. 10,000, <laughs> cause I'm in the shade. 4,000, 3,200, 2,500. Oh, wow. So this is probably not a good ND filter for vlogging outside. I thought I would need at least this strong. I don't know how stops work. It's like a 10 stop ND filter. We're at 10,000 ISO. And this one isn't variable. You can't change it. It's just this dark. But that should be better. Less vignetting and stuff. But I think I should have picked a like a 600-ish. Because we're way too high on that ISO. In bright sunlight maxing the iso wow but since we're manual shutter and just iso is it stepping does it still step with this nd i can fit the lens hood on though and the lens cap so that's a permanent setup it's just a bit dark let me know if the friendly motion blur was worth all this struggle but so far so good until i see the footage and then i'll be like oh wow those are bad <laughs> those are bad but i love this lens so much I just saw Fuji Rumors posted. Basically, I bought this lens for like 477 Canadian dollars. <laughs> and then the B&H had a sale. And I did the math and it was like 360 if I would have bought it from the States. Shipping it here plus customs. Like $100 cheaper. So I ordered it and I'm sending this one back. She said something in another language. Okay, I'm curious to see if we switch back to the other ND filter and that ISO will drop. Is the image quality that much better? I can't even tell if I'm in focus. The screen is so dark now. Oh, why? Let's switch it. Okay, we're back on the variable ND. That's weird that Fuji is choosing to up the exposure and clip the sky now. That is so odd. 
odd decision there, Fooch. I realized that user error just partook in our lives, that the ISO was already at its lowest. It couldn't go any lower because my variable bullshit was in the way. So does that look worse? I mean, better. Oh, your mom's better. The only annoying thing about manually exposing, right now I'm in the shade, and then I'm gonna worry about it. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're clipping. And then I'm gonna, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, there we go. And then like, I'm not thinking of the video. That's bullshit. And then God forbid a cloud go over by like it just did. And now we're back to this and it's a lot of worry. I prefer just letting the camera do it. Unfortunately, Fuji is the worst at that. They get it right, but the stepping is very distracting. Thankfully, the A7S III is not coming. That would suck. Sony's never been known to expose well in smooth or autofocus. They certainly wouldn't have added digital stave to the mix. So there's no problem there. They don't even have a flippy screen. So cross that one off the list. Glad I bought this one. Glad I got this lens. Can't return it. Bought it in the States. There's no refund policy. I'm overexposed. So thank you KNF for sending the ND filters. Is this now the perfect setup? Did it perform well today? I feel like you still got to do the auto something. Right now we're back to auto ISO. I can't be full manual, not on the streets. So we're done. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies ringer shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.